Hi! Today we are going to be making some really simple hummingbird feeders. So all you're going to need to make your own hummingbird feeder is a red solo cup, some scissors, string, I'm using a sharpie just so I make sure that I'm cutting where I'm supposed to be, and what you put inside of it is just water and some sugar. So, first we're going to start off by grabbing our red solo cup, and what you're going to do is you're going to make a hole, a flat bottom, and a rounded top that the humming that we're going to cut out, and that's where the hummingbird's beak can come into. I'm going to do another square one, rectangular, I guess, on the back. So you see? have a rectangle and I have a little half circle and then what I'm gonna do is say my half circle is facing me right like that I'm gonna put little holes on either side of the cup those I'm gonna cut out and that's gonna be where I can put string in in order to hang my red solo cup from a tree all right next step is I'm gonna cut out these different shapes that I just talked about. So it doesn't need to be perfect. The hummingbirds won't care. So I'm just, as you'll see, cutting out my little shapes. So I have my half circle. Make sure you're being really careful with your scissors and you're not cutting your own fingers while you're doing this. If you need a parent's help, you can ask them to do this part. All right, now I have a rectangle. And then I'm just gonna puncture little holes on each side that I can hang up. I'm just doing it so that the string can go through it. All right. Now I'm going to take my string. And I'm only, I don't want it to hang down too far, so I'm only going to cut like this much off, not that much. Use my scissors. Like that. All right. Now I have my string. What I'm going to do push my string through one of the holes that I made with my scissors on this side and I'm gonna put the string inside the cup and through the other end and here we go now we have a hanging red solo cup I'm gonna tie a knot right up here so that I'm able to just slip it over a tree branch so the reason why we are using red solo cups is because hummingbirds are looking to find flowers in order in like nature that they normally can feed off of and so we use red because red attracts the hummingbirds because they think it's food for them all right this is where i normally see the hummingbirds sometimes they're over on my lemon tree too so i have my cup ready to go it's a little windy out and the hummingbirds like to hang out there too. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang one of my cups right here. Right here for the hummingbirds to see. And I'm gonna go fill up my, I'm gonna go get the water sugar mixture to fill it up. All right, now we're gonna make our sugar water to put in our red solar cup. So, I have a quarter cup of sugar and a cup of water. So for every cup of water you have, you need a quarter cup of sugar. I'm just gonna dump that in. Wonderful. And then I brought a spoon here so I can mix it all up. Really let the sugar dissolve. I actually used warm water so that the sugar can dissolve faster. All right, next step is we can put, fill up our red solo cup. 
I have my water here. It's super windy, but we are going to fill up our Red Solo cup. The goal is to fill it up so it gets right, right up to that line, right to where you cut it so the hummingbirds don't have to work as hard. I have some more water so I might go make myself a second Red Solo cup.